Hey guys, I'm Steph from RocketEmps.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a, a post into the Nimba team and uh, how to take advantage of all the options that we uh, created for posts. Okay, so let's go to um, our WordPress dashboard. Let's go to posts. Click on Add New. Uh, let's enter a title for our post. I'm going to call it Ninja Post. Uh, enter here a short description or whatever text you want to use. I'm, go I'm going to use the default text. Okay. Um, also, you can use um, you can add a category or select uh, from existing ones. So I'm just going to select this one and this one. Uh, I will also enter uh, some tags like tag1, tag2, let's space them, tag2, tag3. Okay, um, now for all your posts, it's highly recommended that you also <coughs> set at least one featured image. So. I'm going to go ahead and click on this image here, on uh, set featured image and I already have a um, custom image that I want to use or you can use, you can upload your own uh, image or you know just select from the existing uh, demo content okay so click on set featured image and that's about it uh, you can publish your post now Okay, so this is how our post uh, looks like now. We have um, uh, the featured image showing here. If you click on it, you will see the bigger ver version of the image uh, in a nice, uh, nice light box effect. Okay, you have here the title, you have um, the publishing date, the author, uh, the category, uh, or categories uh, the post uh, belongs to. We have here a related posts and of course uh, the sharing options. Um, the sharing options and the related posts are controlled uh, from the Nimba team options. Uh, we're going to discuss about them a bit later. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back. And let's scroll down below the visual editor and you will see here the general options. Um, as you can see we have the option to enable or disable the sidebar, select the position of the sidebar, uh, enable or disable the post title. Uh, we have an option to uh, skip the first image. The first image is actually the featured image, the first featured image that uh, you set. Um, and also you have the option to show or hide the page title and breadcrumbs bar. Um, okay, let's start with this one here, enable sidebar, let's click no, um, click update. Okay, go back to your uh, post, hit refresh. And as you can see now our post, uh, uh, it's in a full width mode because there is no more sidebar. Uh, on our page, post page, okay, let's go back, um, enable the sidebar, and let's go to the sidebar position. Now, um, you see here a default <coughs> option selected. Uh, this means that the sidebar position of our post will inherit uh, whatever option um, you select uh, for the in, in the team options, the general options. Uh, settings because uh, you can go there and actually uh, select a default position for the sidebar that will affect um, all your posts uh, but with this option here you can actually overwrite um, all the settings that you uh, specify in the team options okay so let's go ahead and uh, select left 
in the update go to your posts hit uh, refresh okay and as you can see now we have our sidebar to the left of the, po of the post um, just like we selected here okay revert that and uh, let's go to the show post title select no update go back to your post and you will see uh, we have our sidebar back to the right but you will see that the post title that uh, was just uh, below the featured image is now missing because uh, uh, that's what we wanted sometimes this option is uh, useful okay um, the skip first image select yes hit update go back to your post refresh and as you can see um, the featured image is no longer uh, no longer displayed but uh, let's say that you want to uh, set uh, more uh, featured images like uh, featured image 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, these images uh, will actually be displayed um, the only one that won't be displayed is the first uh, image that you will set as featured image okay revert that change and let's select hide for the page title and bring uh, breadcrumbs bar okay update go back to your post and you will notice that this area here entire section uh, will disappear as you can see it look, uh, looks uh, very nice like that okay <clears throat> Now, below the general options, you will uh, see the slider option, which actually allows you to add uh, uh, an existing layer slider to any of your uh, posts. So, for this post, I want to show the Nimba Shop slider. Uh, let's go ahead and update. Go back to your post, hit refresh. And as you can see, just above our uh, post, uh, we have a uh, nice uh, slider this is actually the shop uh, slider that uh, was created for the uh, shop area of our site okay go back again if you use this option select the slider um, basically no slider uh, will be shown uh, above uh, your post Okay, we have um, below the slider option, we have the video options. Um, this actually allows you um, to directly add um, YouTube or Vimeo uh, video uh, to your post. I am in the same, uh, um, the same uh, section where the featured image uh, is. Okay, let me show you that. I'm going to just use this code. You actually need just the uh, code that follows the equal sign for YouTube. and um, this code here is for Vimeo um, it's actually the code that's following the trailing slash okay update go back hit refresh and as you can see now we have our, our um, YouTube video first followed by Vimeo and uh, the last one is our featured image uh, which in this case if you um, if you would select that uh, option to skip the first image uh, it won't be shown at all okay um, let's delete this we don't want to use them anymore okay um, okay video background this is actually a very nice feature again you have um, uh, a default value or yes or no default value uh, means uh, that whatever you set in the team options will be uh, used uh, for all your posts but you can override the all uh, you can override the, the options uh, you set under team options for all, uh, each individual post so um, I'm going to select uh, enable video background to yes you need the video ID from YouTube um, I'm going to use uh, this one 
paste it here you need to enter at least a video opacity which is should be greater than uh, 1 I'm going to use 20 10 20 percent opacity okay uh, let's go ahead and update see what happens now go back to your post uh, hit refresh and as you can see now we have a nice uh, uh, YouTube video playing in the background which is pretty cool okay let's go back to our editing post um, now you have the option to actually use an overlay color uh, this means um, I select something like a greenish color this means that uh, over your um, playing uh, video uh, you know a color background uh, will be shown something like a mask okay uh, but you need to also enter this video overlay opacity which should be something like um, I don't know 30% let's see how it looks like now <clears throat> okay refresh and as you can see now I have a greenish background but also um, the YouTube video is playing in the background so that's pretty nice go back Um, delete the video overlay color and let's select the background overlay pattern you have four patterns you can use I'm going to use the fourth uh, pattern and uh, because I know how this one looks like I'm going to use only a 5% uh, uh, opacity uh, another thing I want to do is uh, disable the sidebar okay click update go back refresh and as you can see um, we have uh, our uh, pattern and uh, the YouTube uh, video playing in the background uh, this lo looks uh, pretty nice okay you can play around with the settings until you're, you're comfortable with uh, with the result uh, let's uh, turn off um, the video background um, okay delete this or you can just leave them uh, simply by selecting uh, no here or default uh, the video background will be deleted okay let's go back uh, let's go uh, a bit uh, down and see you will see the custom styling okay the custom background image allows you to use uh, a custom image for the background okay so let's click on browse I'm going to use uh, an existing image uh, let's use this one okay insert into post uh, you can actually upload your own images or you know use uh, images from uh, from the demo content okay so let's click on insert into post let's go ahead and update um, go back to your post it refresh and as you can see now we have a background uh, image for our post looks uh, pretty nice okay let's play uh, with the settings a bit more and now we have the option to enable the parallax background this is a nice effect basically you know uh, while you scroll the background will also uh, scroll with you Okay, let's go ahead update and as you can see while I'm scrolling uh, the background is also moving uh, this is the parallax effect I was talking about it's a pretty nice effect okay let's go back um, you can disable this uh, this is a nice uh, feature enabled full screen background image uh, you know if your image is not big enough you can still use this option and your uh, image will stretch the entire width and height of your uh, browser image uh, browser window sorry okay um, let's say that maybe you don't want to use any custom background image you just want to use a color uh, well this is the option for that you have the custom background color here 
it select a bluish color very light blue something like that okay update go back to your post hit refresh and as you can see now we have a just a bluish color for uh, set as the background of our post right okay so uh, you can play around with these settings until you're comfortable with uh, using them and creating your own styles I'm going to delete this okay um, update so that's about it with this um, tutorial about creating your first, your first uh, post right so uh, thank you for watching see you next time bye bye